Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try to find the perimeter of this regular pentagon. Notice how the sides are marked. One of them is marked as being 8x minus 3 meters in length, and the other one is marked as being 4x plus 9 meters in length. But since we were told that it's a regular pentagon, that means all the sides are equal in length, and all the angles are equal in measure which means that 8x minus 3 meters must equal 4x plus 9 meters. So that will allow us to find the value for x. So we have 8x minus 3 must therefore equal 4x plus 9. Let's move all the x's to one side. So we have 8x minus 4x. Notice when you move the 4x to the left side, it becomes a minus 4x. And we move the negative 3 to the right side, which now becomes a positive 3. Then we combine like terms, 4x is equal to 12, divide both sides by 4, and that gives us x is equal to 3. Now that we know that x equals 3, we can calculate the length of each of the sides. Notice that we say 8 times, instead of x, we put 3 minus 3, and that would be in meters, is equal to, that would be 24 minus 3 meters, and so that means each side has a length of 21 meters. Since the pentagon has five sides, that means the perimeter is therefore equal to five times the length of each side, 21 meters, which means it's 105 meters as the perimeter. Now, just to make sure we did this correctly, let's take the other side and see if we get the same result when we use 4x plus 9. So we take 4x plus 9, and instead of x, we're now going to replace it with x being equal to 3. That's 4 times 3 plus 9, which is 12 plus 9, which is indeed 21. We get the same value as we did over here. Of course, these are all in meters, so we could put parentheses around it, put meters behind it, like this, and put meters behind it. And notice we get the exact same result with either side. That's a good way to check, but at least this is how we find the perimeter of that pentagon.